another breast tumor. Notice it is fairly uniform. Notice, even though it's glistening, I hope you can get the impression that it has kind of a nice rubbery texture, like a, a super ball. And microscopically, if you were to look at this fairly uniform rubbery tumor, you would understand why it's rubbery. The we reason why it's rubbery is because perhaps 90% of it is fibrous tissue. In here, where you see it's pinker, the fibrous tissue may be a little denser than where it is out here. But uh, you know all of these little linear or oval or stellate spaces. See, there's a little lizard over there. Uh, is surrounded by epithelium. But apart from that, all of this pinker stuff is um, fibrous tissue. This is more of a proliferation of uh, fibrous tissue or stroma or mesenchyma mesench or mesenchymal elements than it would be epithelial or glandular elements. Here is some normal breast out here in which you can see uh, some nice uh, acini and uh, labules. And as soon as it decides to focus in on me, I can show you that normal breast uh, labial. These are all normal breast labials out here. Notice how this tumor is extremely well delineated from the surrounding uh, fibrous uh, capsule. Uh, so if you haven't guessed it by now, you know this is a fibroadenoma because we've already had a couple of other cases. You already know it's the most benign uh, tumor of young women. It's very uh, uniform and uh, often radiologically when you see a uniform uh, well-defined tumor in a young woman it's a fibroadenoma until proven otherwise. If it's not biopsied and it stays in for a long time this fibrous tissue here can become very densely fibrotic like it's a little more fibrous here because you see more collagen it's pinker and it can also become calcified as well. And it almost doesn't uh, do you any good to examine carefully the epithelium of these glands. Because even if in your wildest dreams you thought there's some uh, atypical cells or something like that, uh, which there could be, please, please, please move back, look at the big picture, and realize this is a fibroadenoma. These are benign. Thank you very much.